This is Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we are back in Ellerslie and we are making a very large hole in a kitchen floor. Now the thing about renovations is you have to do them in stages. We extended this house, we did a lot of episodes about it. They've moved into the extension now, they're settled, they're happy. So now we can move into the kitchen and tear that apart. So do that? Are we gonna put the bin somewhere or? Uh, not right now because we don't have it yet. Not yet. Welcome back to the show, Pato. Welcome back to 2019, eh? That's right, that's right. You enjoy the sunshine over the summer there, Pato? I'm loving this 13 degrees way. That's what I'm loving. So this here oh is coming out because there's an issue with this floor going from here right through to here. The floor has an issue and you can see the issue there. From the outside wall to the other outside wall there's only one bearer here. So when you're sitting at this breakfast bar over here and someone walks past there, the whole thing shakes. And uh, they want to put a new kitchen in here. So we've got to make sure this floor is solid before they do. So there's our post, and there's our concrete. Oh, that was meant to be H3. That's no good. Might have to send this back, bro. Post and the bearer is wrong. Thanks, mate. The bearers are H1.2 and they're meant to be H3, and the posts are 150s, but they need to be 125s. Well, that happens from time to time. The posts are wrong, the bearers are wrong, but they're gonna swap them, so. Wow, wow. No chef pie though this morning. Chef pie. Chef pie. Chef builder's see, pie. See you in a minute. See you soon. Pato's getting a pie. Ah, so back at the LSE job, as I said at the beginning of the episode, we have been here many times. We don't have that much to do. So we're going to replace a big fat window over there and they're going to get this kitchen done. We're not doing the kitchen, we don't really do kitchens. Doing your soup there? Mm. Does Chef Scott make that or Chef Jess? Bro, this is just the, um, oh, the, packet. the pouches. The good oh, a like California a wellness ball. Awesome. Stuff up the order, right? <laughs> <laughs> it happens bro, it happens. True. Post replace. So, hey, that was a very quick turnaround. What was it like an hour? What's that? The oh yeah, that was real quick. Listen up. I'm not that busy yet, eh? Haven't really kicked kicked it into gear. No one has yet. Yeah. I think after after this week, everyone. But you notice how few people back. are around, like in this yeah. in this town and everything. Yeah. Very relaxed here in New Zealand at this Traffic time of year. Traffic uh, is still pretty pretty good. That's a big spider web. 
Yeah, Seems like a bit of a shame to be cutting a nice floor up there, Pardo. I know, hey. Doesn't seem... Doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right at all. It's candy floss. Mmm, yum. So we're actually ripping the whole thing up. We're not doing it carefully because there's going to be a whole new floor going over the top of this floor. So we're going to rip a huge strip up the middle and then replace it with plywood, not... Oh, yeah. Right this is like the worst pl place ever to dig. See, see what I mean? The big mound there. Oh yeah. And that's right where we get our bear line is. Oh. Yeah, well. Typical. Oh well, we're gonna cut the whole thing up anyway, so we've got we've got room. But yeah, it's not ideal. So, if you are wondering why we don't just crawl under the house and do it, well, it's pretty limited the access. The way in is over under the bathroom, which has been reinforced to heck, and there's bearers and posts and everything in the way. So between crawling under there and getting the concrete under there and digging the holes and getting the dirt out and all that, it's just too much of a mission. And the floor is being replaced anyway, so it's more efficient this way. Unbelievable. Piles of concrete. Piles of concrete. So anybody wondering what that um what that foil is, if you don't know, that's a vapor barrier. It's something that we don't really do anymore. Some people do I think. Um I couldn't figure out whether it was cold in this country. Yeah, that was our best attempt in New Zealand of um you know insulating the floor for many, many years. So they would put that there. And um, the idea is that any moisture gets in that little cavity, there's these little weep holes in, in the bottom of that sag, and it drips out. But it's supposed to stop the vapour from rising from the dirt and getting to the floor. But it's foil, and um, if you get a loose cable and the cable touches the foil, the whole thing becomes conductive, and people get electrocuted, so it's not as popular as it once was. Okay. Well, the client did warn us that where we planned to put a bearer, there would be a big pile of rubble, and he wasn't wrong. So, we're just going to have to deal with that. First, we're going to have lunch, and I thought I would introduce our new segment called Cheers. As the channel's been growing, a lot of people have been sending us stuff and giving us stuff, and which is super cool. So, I thought I would introduce a segment that uh, thanked those people. So, first up, Cameron from Systematic Homes gave me this sucker here for as a Christmas present. It's a DeWalt laser. It's a cross line laser. Got a little ding ding. Screw it to the wall using this bracket. And it's also got a magnet here so you can put it to steel stud. And then you turn that on and it shoots a plumb line and a level line. So thank you very much, Cameron. I greatly appreciate it. And the second person I wanted to thank was Carpenter13 because he's doing some really cool stuff over on Instagram. Um, he started his account maybe three or four months ago. He, he does a lot of like custom carpentry tools. So he does benches for his drop saw and a lot of cool stuff. And lately he's been doing router plates for the Makita routers. And they're pretty damn cool. He's sort of like evolving them as he goes. He does these super cool router plates. He's sending me a whole bunch of them. I'll pop up some proper pictures here. And, um, and a link will be down below if you want to go check them out for yourself. He even named one of the router plates after me. It's called the Scott Brown Plate. And he's, and he's done a new one, bro, called the Scott Brown Elite. It's like the, the latest edition. So how cool is that? A router plate named after me. So he, he's, he's sending me a bunch of these plates and um, it's just been really cool watching his Instagram grow. So check it out, give him a follow, you won't be disappointed. And uh, thank you, Frank Carpenter13. 
Um, and thank you also, Frank, for being the 13th subscriber. So he's been following me <laughs> since the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forced the other 12 to follow me, eh? He, he, he followed on his own. He followed <laughs> of his own volition. So that's my new segment called Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Pilot's gonna hold the fort, put the plywood flooring down. And I'm gonna go look at another little job. Tomorrow's exciting episode, we will lift all that concrete up and try and get some posts in. I can't wait. There we go. Laser. Oh. Voila. <laughs> That's cool as.